you talk about the this game and you talk about the other game, I mean, it was absolute mayhem there that uh, it went down so close that winning the game by one run was an absolute craziness that uh, happened between Kings Eleven. and Qatar. It's a match that we were only talking, Simon and me, at the 10th over mark. It was just a question of when they would finish and not if. But somehow, Kings Eleven decided to find a way not to chase that down. It was down to a six needed of the last ball from Glenn Maxwell to take it mm. to a super over. He fell short by a couple of millimetres and it went for four. He, he could have basically taken Kings Eleven to a victory for the first time this season, as in himself getting a victory for Kings Eleven. Not to be, and I mean, I, I, who is the greatest escape artist? Is, is it Harry Houdini? It must be <laughs> Harry Houdini, surely. Yeah, the it, he's the greatest escape artist of all time. Well, Kolkata and Harry Houdini at the moment. <laughs> I mean, what is going on with the two teams chasing? But the point is, now Kings Eleven. The point is, Houdini still did things on his own. I mean, you put him in (laughs) a tank of water, he got out of the chains. But not that somebody from the opposition climbed into the tank and started opening the chains for him. That's what Chennai did. That's what Kings Eleven Punjab did. Kings Eleven Punjab jumped in the pool, but they drowned trying to get the chains off. (laughs) I have one basic question to ask you. Who do you send in? You just lost one wicket. You're, you know, Nicholas Puran is there. You're 29 of 24 odd balls. Nicholas Puran has just got out. You know, you've got a situation where Sunil Narayan's bowling, who's a wildly international customer. Mm. Who do you send in? You send in a kid who's played two matches, who hasn't the first idea about playing Sunil Narayan, who then packs out four dot balls, takes a last ball single, therefore denying KL Rahul the strike in the next over, which is where they should be going for it because it's the medium paces he wants to really hit. And creating yeah. a situation that's totally untenable. So leave. Yeah. I mean, you got a bloke who you players, paid what a million dollars. You got a bloke who you paid a million dollars for sitting there, who's an international quality player. No, he's not in great form, but he's sitting on the bench. I, I, I'm, I'm with you, Joe. What? Where's the where's the logic? Where is the logic in that from Kings Eleven? Absolutely. And Simon, it's not just the money sometimes that you look at because we've often talked about big purses that have been played, people living up to it. At some Mm. point in time, you've got to look at someone's reputation, no matter what Glenn Maxwell has done or not done in this tournament. He can walk in for one ball and hit a six. In this case, they had kind of got themselves in a position where they still didn't need something that crazy. But even then, Prab Simran came out, made it even more impossible and it came down to a six of the last ball and Maxwell almost did it. Millimetres short. You know, Kolkata, they have this thing, this time of the year, uh, Simon, everyone's worried about only one thing, it's the Puja bonus. Because the Durga Puja is the biggest festival in Calcutta. And this is the time of the year where, you know, everyone expects a bit of extra money because, you know, you're going to be spending some food, buying clothes, buying food, travelling. This is the period they spend money. So, Kolkata just got two Puja bonuses that they could never have expected. CSK and Kings Eleven just gave them the bonus. And I mean, they having to go upstairs, haven't they? They've, they've had to go upstairs to, to make sure that it wasn't a six. I mean, it was that close. Exactly. In the end, that they've gone upstairs, the umpires have taken time and time and time to check it, and eventually they, they have decided that, no, no, it just bounced inside the uh, inside the line, inside the Toblerone. <laughs> yeah, it, and just to, just to confirm in all that excitement, it was actually two runs, the victory margin, not that it matters, a win is a win, it's a full number of points. They needed seven of the last ball to win, six to tie it's they a hit a four run. so hence it was a two-run victory there you see it a confirmation 164 for six it didn't look enough especially at the halfway mark when they got over 70 there were no loss the two buddies were batting they were having a great time in each other's company and it just they seemed to lose their way after Mayan Kagarwal got out Puran came hit his customary 16 of 10 balls and once Puran was out suddenly they saw 29 of four still doable in walks Prabh Simran and it all went wrong from there with the likes of Andy Flower, Anil Kumble. I mean, just look at that bench, Joy and Simon. I mean, just looking at that, it boggles your mind who would have taken that call. I, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I just don't know what to say. I'm in disbelief. They're 130 without loss. Chasing 165. You, you just, you can't lose games like that. You can't. And, and, you know, responsibility, yes, with KL, with Mayank, 
with someone not batting through, leaving the responsibility up to someone else. I heard Ian Bishop mention it in commentary. You know, be there at the end, be there at the end. Someone's got to stay there and do the job. And, and they haven't taken that responsibility. And so much more so when you are in trouble in, on the board as well. You're already down the bottom. You desperately need a win. Someone has to stay there and do the job for you. Two international players.